most important issue facing your district? And how would you cultivate bipartisan support to address that issue? Thank you. I think the most important issue now is no different than when I ran the first time uh, four years ago. It's our economy and getting an economy that's working for everybody, not just the fortunate few. An economy that's growing from the middle out, helping middle class families achieve their dreams, put a roof over their heads, provide education and health care to their children, and secure a dignified and secure retirement. We have seen over the last number of years efforts in Congress, as well as efforts here in Illinois, to try to change the system or balance the budget on the backs of those who suffer the most, while giving the benefits to those who have the most. In fact, a recent study estimated that the current proposal, Republican proposal for tax reform, would give 99.6%, let me repeat that, 99.6% of the benefit to the top 1% of people, of earners in this country. That's not the way we're going to grow our economy. So my goal in Congress is to work with my colleagues, again, on both sides of the aisle, to help small businesses. In addition to the Foreign Affairs Committee, I served on the Small Business Committee, helping businesses gain access to capital, access to talent, and giving them policies that would hopefully provide the confidence to invest in the future, buy a piece of equipment, hire one more people. There are 29 million small businesses in this country. If each one had the confidence to hire one person every four years, each president would add 30 million jobs to our economy. We need legislation that's gonna reform our tax system to make us competitive globally, but also more fair. We can't have companies like GE who are paying oftentimes 0% in taxes and companies like Kraft here in Illinois who are typically paying 30%. We need tax reform that's gonna level the playing field and provide all of our businesses. I was proud, again, on the Small Business Committee to be a voice for small businesses to make sure they had the chance to succeed. That's how we're gonna grow our economy and get to where we need to be. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. Congressman Dole. Thank you. I am one of those small business owners. I don't sit on the Small Business Committee, I sit on the Ways and Means Committee, the most powerful committee in the United States Congress. Deals with all tax policy, trade, Medicare, Social Security, and the like. As the only small business owner in this race that meets a budget and a payroll, what I hear from people all the time, the biggest issue is jobs in the economy. And you know what, there's some people out there that wanna say, you know what, we have an unemployment rate that's at 4.9%. Well, I have news for you, it's not 4.9%. It's not 4.9% in the 10th district. Go up to Waukegan, 43% of African-American males are unemployed. That's a crime. 52% of working adults in North Chicago are unemployed. We need to talk about how do we allow the small business owners to be able to hire that next individual. There are 29 million small businesses in our nation and if we can create an environment that enables half of them to create a single job, think about where we'd be then. But what I hear from many of these small businesses is we have so many roadblocks that are in front of us. More regulation after more regulation after more regulation. And we're not against regulation. In fact, we want regulation. We want it to be smart regulations and tailored regulations. These small businesses want certainty. And so for the first time in a long time, with broad bipartisan support, we were able to allow small businesses to say, yes, you're gonna be able to expense that equipment. And we're gonna be able to give you that certainty as opposed to what Congress has done in the past pass a bill in the 11th hour saying, we're gonna give you two weeks of certainty and make a tax bill retroactive to January 1st. Well, I don't know about you, but in my small business, we don't budget retroactively. We don't plan retroactively. We actually have to focus on these things. Education is another critical component. Frankly, education is the building blocks for everything that we wanna do. And as we look at what's going on, things like Youth Build, was able to work with Youth Build, work with John Lewis, trying to make sure that robust funding's out there for young people to get retrained. This is the way forward. Tax reform, I'm delighted to be able to work on it, but it's only gonna pass with effective bipartisan leadership. The type of leadership that I provide. Thank you. Thank you.